skies are clear. 40s dew point north northwest winds at 5 miles per hour. 82 up in Oro Valley, 81. Sabino Canyon, 82. West Siders, Tucson Estates at 82 degrees. And into Cochise and Santa Cruz County, we're tracking temperatures into the 70s. Beautiful night on tap. Down at the 60s again for nighttime lows. Difference tomorrow is a couple degrees warmer, uh, low 90s, and we're going to see those winds out of the east southeast gusting maybe 15 to 25 miles per hour. Could even see some gusts closer to 30 if you live adjacent to some of those mountain ranges that face to your east. Uh, into the 60s by 11 o'clock tonight, mid 60s soon thereafter. Clear skies for the most part tonight. We're seeing that finally ribbon of moisture move away from us, but high pressure will set up shop. Give us an easterly wind component once again when the winds get at the very top of the mountaintops. Well, they got to descend, right? You can't go uphill, so you got to go downhill. What happens when you get something on the mountaintop and roll it downhill? It accelerates, right, to gravity. And that's why we're going to see some escalated wind speeds tomorrow. In response to this brief area of high pressure that builds in, brief because it's there for about 48 hours, then we see a cool down. Really, the meat and potatoes of the cold air stays well to the north, but we do cool down. And then it looks like early next work week, another ridge of high pressure starts to build on in. Depending on how far west this ridge builds, or east for that matter, will really depend on how warm we get. If this moves a little bit farther to the east, we get warmer. If it stays where it is, we'll keep the temperature next week around mid to upper 80s. If it stays farther to the west, we'll be a little bit cooler than that. So still some finer details to kind of sort things through. Upper 50s to near 60 tonight. Sunny and breezy tomorrow. East southeast winds 15 to 20 with those gusts possibly to 30. Low 90s for daytime highs for Tucson. Low 80s for Cochise and Santa Cruz County. Not quite as breezy for you. 91 breezes tomorrow. 92 on Thursday. Down to the mid 80s Friday. Mid 80s Saturday. Mid 80s Sunday turning a little bit breezy again. Low 80s Monday. Low 50s Monday night. That's our real taste of fall. But then that ridge kind of butts up right against the west coast by Tuesday. Brings back temperatures into the mid to upper 80s again. All right, thanks a lot. Let's check in with Paul Sakala. See how the weather is in the sports department. All right, my friend, thanks a lot. The Sabino High School football team has not skipped a beat since coaching legend Jay Campos stepped down to concentrate on principal duties. Coach Ryan McBrayer has continued the success for the Sabercats. And this season, the boys from the Northeast side have won five of seven games. And it's no secret, this week's High School Football Tucson Roadrunners Player of the Week comes from Sabino. News for Tucson's very own David Kelly has more. Hey, thanks, Paul. Out here at the Sabre Dome, where 5 and 2 Sabino is getting set for a matchup this Friday night against Push Ridge Christian Academy. Junior quarterback AJ Skaggs threw for a career high five touchdowns Friday night against Tank Averde. And let me show you one of the things I like here about AJ Skaggs. Watch him right up into the pocket here to make this throw. You know, that's pretty much the only drills I do with my quarterback coach every single day in practice. Um, I'm still working on it this year. He's starting to have a lot more intellectual conversations about the quarterback <laughs> position. Um, where he's able to have the leadership to, to have his input, talk about what he likes, talk about why he likes it. Not to mention,